the first per person slash organization on my shit list goes out to Subway. Subway, um, I, I've, they've always, I've always been a little sus of Subway. I had a buddy of mine back in the day um, who told me that they had found that they were using like the same type of material that they used to make yoga mats, like in the bread at yeah. Subway, yeah, uh, which is like super not cool. Right. And then like ever since he told me that, I was like, I've never eaten there never again. I'm just like, no, I'm good. Like I don't, I don't need to do that. And also, it's a lot of bread anyways. And I'm, your boy's trying to lose weight right now. Right. So, but I mean, you could get flatbread. I mean, you could. I only, yeah. sl I only slap the chicken bacon ranch. I don't eat nothing else. And yeah, I Subway's respect it. Subway's not like a. It used to be a every week. Kind of thing and yeah, it used to be really big on Subway, yeah. and I remember like back in the day, I used to be really into it too. But mm -hmm. now, like, I mean, ever since that happened, I kind of just gave it up, and right. I've just been like okay with not having it. So That's you know, insane. whatever. Um, but the reason why they're on my list specifically is because um, uh, Irish uh, Supreme Court ruled that the bread was actually too sugary to legally meet the requirements to be defined as bread. So do they have to rename it or do they have to I don't to know drop what's going to happen. Well, levels. they would have to rename it because it's false advertising if it doesn't meet the legal requirements of being bred. Right. Or what if they just drop the 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 correct Well, yeah, yeah, then the, they could know. just they could call them like loaves or something. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Right. Like, yeah, like like the Italian loaf or whatever. But yeah, so yeah, I just thought it was interesting that it's like another bread thing too. Like, why can't they just use regular bread? I don't understand. Is it like a preservative thing? Right. Like, or, and I know, I know with fast food places too. Like, sugar is like a big issue, and you find it like in the weirdest places. Like, like I know, I know for a while, like the salads at McDonald's were like worse from you than like oh, if you just yeah. got like their burgers and fries and shit because there was a fuckload of sugar in their in their salads that's crazy i didn't know that their salads are actually yeah well i don't good. know that's the case now but that yeah. was the case at one point like their salads are actually worse for you yeah than uh that's if insane. you were to just eat the quote-unquote bad food <laughs> you know what i mean that's and I, I don't know i mean sugar is addictive right so are they doing it like for addictive tendencies or what i'm not really sure but subway you're fucking up man y'all y'all are y'all are hurting right now that's tough yeah um next person on my list goes out to uh cd project red uh they're the company responsible for making the video game uh cyberpunk 2077 um cd project red has had a very uh they have a very favorable rep representation in the gaming community as being very uh worker and customer oriented yeah in the sense that like if it's going to take them longer to release something, they'll just do that. Like, they won't, like, overwork their employees or anything. Right. And for a while, uh, crunch was a really big topic because a lot of companies were were having, like, really bad crunch. I, I think uh, that was a topic for Destiny back in the day. Um, crunch is basically where it's, like, the last stretch of the development of whatever uh, product that you're making. Um, they have mandatory crunch where, like, it's, like, mandatory overtime. It's, like... Like, right, you know, like right. 12 hour days, six days a week, yeah. like you got to get your shit out. You know what I mean? And uh, CD Projekt Red actually came out and made like a very, very like grandiose mm -hmm. like declaration that uh, they would never have crunch in their company. Like they value their employees too much. Like they're never going to have crunch. Like if something has to release late, it just has to release late. And like, that's it. They're crunching them for cyberpunk. And they've broken that promise. <laughs> Yeah, they've I mean, broken that promise, and now they're um, they're gonna they're crunching they're they're they have mandatory crunch right now for their employees, uh, forcing mandatory six day work weeks until the release of Cyberpunk, which I think like they and and you know and, and I will say this they're on my shit list, but you also have to give them a little bit of credit because they came out and took responsibility for it. Like they apologized because they're like, look, like we said this, and like we're not honoring that. Right. So like they're kind of putting themselves on their own shit list right. in a way. That's so cool. I do give them some credit, but they're still fucking up. Like to I be mean, honest, they are. But I also give them more credit because I think that game is gonna be really good. Cyberpunk. That game I has the potential to be like a generational game. Could be really sick. Bro. It's gonna be and amazing. I'm gonna have it. I'm definitely gonna get it. Well, I, I gotta try. Me, it. me, and my girlfriend are talking about uh, splitting a PS5, and I mean, I have this PC now too, so right. I'm definitely gonna get it without a doubt. Right. It's yeah. gonna be sick. Yeah. It's Keep gonna be sick. You know, Ke Keanu did it, so. <laughs> um, the last person on my shit list this week goes out. I mean, I, dude, doctors are fucking up. Uh, we got the Tyrod Taylor case, right. and then we got this fucking right. bitch who um, punctured a woman's brain lining and causing uh, brain fluid to leak out of her nose uh, during a COVID test. So you know how they do like your nose swab. Oh wow! Somebody went like way up too high, and they actually like punctured like her brain cavity. What? the 
Bro, what? Jesus Christ. That is crazy. Dude, just imagine, like, like you're, you're, that, that lady probably wasn't even sick, bro. It was probably just like a standard, you know, you got to take a COVID test, like, no big deal. And they just, bro. Like, like, just right in there, bro. Way up too high, though. Oh, oh dude, that has to, like, I know that would have felt some type of way Ooh, to her. Like, I couldn't even imagine, hurt. dude. Right. Oh, my goodness, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's that. Now that's a great candidate for sure. Yeah, without a doubt. Oh my goodness! That that's doctor, insane. unlike the 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 medical official, that doctor is probably unemployed now. <laughs> oh, bro, yeah. for sure, right? Yeah, without I would a think doubt. So. I would All right, think so. I've got two big boy shout outs this week. Um, first one goes out to your boy Reggie Bush. Um, I don't know uh, for any listeners who are listening who don't know who Reggie Bush is. He's a Hall of Fame uh, running back for the NFL. Um, but he's not currently playing anymore. Um, he's a he's an analyst on Fox, and um, he uh, participated and continues to participate in some of the like college game day, um, like crews uh, for college. And your boy, dude, on live TV, bro, he just straight up fell asleep, like in his chair, like sitting up, just <laughs> fell like dead ass asleep, bro, like in the middle of game day. <laughs> and oh uh, oh man dude it was great it was like one hell of a mood man like i just thought it was so funny especially like when i just talked a couple weeks ago about how i get my best sleep when i'm watching football yeah like you know it's like it's like it's like that that midday game bro so so, like the noon games are done you're going into like the late games and like you you know you've probably eaten a little bit already you're feeling pretty good maybe that's something to drink and like you just kind of doze off, and I'm feeling like that was a big like Reggie Bush <laughs> mood, bro. And it, it's just wow. it's it, it'd be funny if it was anybody on national TV, but it just being Reggie Bush for some reason makes it funnier it to me. It is funny because he's like a legend, you know what I mean? Right. Like I mean, <laughs> so, how did they wake him up? Like, I don't know. I didn't see it. <laughs> like just I don't know. That would have been great, right? I do. We're we're gonna we're like gonna he's like got like that. his earpiece in. They're trying to like, hey right, man, like yeah. come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, hell yeah that'll be funny. and then uh, my other big boy shout out goes out to whoever this person is they didn't say who the person was but um there was somebody at the texas state aquarium here in, in texas um said that they were having some issues with some of the animals there like being restless and like like they they were having like like high energy because they didn't have a way to like like you know go out and play and like get rid of all that energy so yeah. they started like thinking of ways that they could try um, to to alleviate some of that energy and like get rid of some of that restlessness that their animals were having. So they decided that it'd be a cool idea to try like introducing some of the land animals to the to, to the water animals and like bring them together. And um, they said that they did this with multiple different like pairs of animals and stuff. Yeah. And they said the most successful case was um, they brought sloths into the dolphin exhibit. And uh, they said that the dolphins, like, were kind of sluggish and stuff, but, like, once they brought the sloths in, the dolphins were, like, extremely playful, and, like, they would, like, play, like, with the sloths. Yeah, that's and, cool. Yeah, and the sloths, like, who were normally, like, very, um, like, you know, sloth, right. you, you get it, like, just right. chilling. <laughs> um, like, they were up in the trees and stuff, and they said that the dolphins and the sloths would talk to each other. For like hours at a time, like all day, like they would just like like That's squeak crazy. back and forth to each other. Yeah. yeah, and I don't know, like that just made me feel like really good. I was like, yeah, this is super cool, cool man. That is cool. And I don't know, the idea of being able to see that like in an exhibit too would also be super cool. Like if you could see different animals like interact, interact with, one with one another, another. yeah, like yeah. that would be so cool. That would be dope. And it just it, it also felt cooler that it was like here in Texas. Like this is like one of our people right. who like thought who about thought this about and that. yeah like had this like really cool success with it and, like also who would have guessed that like sloths and dolphins would get along you know what i mean like that's so right that's so bizarre to me so i really enjoyed that like i thought that was a really cool story and i i thought it definitely who that home girl whoever thought of that idea deserved to get some credit for sure yeah, it, it made my day dope. it made me very happy yeah that's cool 